uh, madam, you know I have been uh, your husband's friend for a very long time. And I'm also your family doctor. So, I have already told your husband this thing I'm about to tell you. But you know, I decided that uh, I should be the one to tell you personally as a professional. Okay? Since you have had several cases of fibroids, recurrent cases of fibroids, your chances at conception are very slim. You have only about 10 to 20% chances of conceiving. Okay? And I have told your husband that you guys should uh, explore other means. Okay? And I am going to support you with all the medical advice and guidance all the way. And your husband is very comfortable with everything. You are a very lucky woman, I must say. This is going to be very difficult for me to handle, doctor. This is very difficult. My husband and I dated for a long time. He's been there for me all the five years that we dated and the only thing I ever wished for was to get married to him and give him beautiful kids. He loves me so much and he loves my entire family. It is well. It is well. I'm consoled. God will see us through. That is the spirit, madam. Now you're talking like somebody that has faith. You know what God cannot do does not exist. So you have to be optimistic. I have just spoken like a man, like an ordinary man. Okay? They said, let God be true and let every man be a liar. God has defied science several times and he will keep doing it. So be optimistic. And good thing, your husband loves you so much that he doesn't have any issue with it at all. Okay? Honey, I see that you have packed your bags already. I wish you could skip this training. Hmm? I'm going to miss you. You know, we just got married barely four months. I know we've dated for years, but you know, we just got married. And you're about leaving for a one-year training. That's a long time. I'm going to miss you. My dear, I understand how you feel. Especially after the doctor's report we got. You know, I would have loved to stay longer with you, you know, comfort you and be by your side. But you see, this one year training is mandatory if I want to be promoted at work. And you know, it is sponsored by the company. I'm fortunate. Other employees, they have to spend their own money to go to the UK, pay for this course, you know, take care of themselves over there for the entire year and come back before they can get the promotion but you see my md was magnanimous enough to want to sponsor this trip for me so let me go it's for the betterment of everybody by the time i get this promotion in the next one or two years after the promotion we would move to a bigger house and we would live a better life Let me go, honey. If not, I'll be late for my flight. Eh? Let me go. There is always a video call. We we'll talk every time. Before you know, one year has passed and I am back again. Eh? It's not a big deal. Okay? I'll be back soon. You have your very good friend now, Angela. She can even move in here if you want. Then your siblings, ask all of them to come over. There is more than enough to eat and drink in this house. Eh? Just be comfortable and do what makes you happy. Okay, baby. Mm. I'll be calling you every second, every minute. Okay? Ah, I had a car just drive into the compound now. Oh, that must be the company driver. Baby, I have to run along, okay? So that I don't miss my flight, all right? Okay, take care of yourself. I love you very much. I'll call you anytime I am free on a daily basis, okay? Bye. Bye. Married woman, you are just shining. Hmm? You have forgotten all about me. Sometimes I will even call you. You will not pick up. Hmm. Is it because your husband is now in the UK? You are now a UK man's wife. That is why you have decided to abandon me. I used to be your bestie. Eh? So what is the problem? Who is taking your time? 
who is the one taking your time is it your husband that has made you to abandon me no chats no calls ah you are wicked oh it's not like that Jare, my friend i have just been busy you know mm, putting one or two things together that reminds me somebody called me and told me that you were spotted at an eatery with a man and i'm like i don't think the person saw correctly okay so i was just like okay anytime we see i would ask you about it that who is that person because they said they saw you guys at an eatery you people were having ice cream laughing together and all that i said i would talk to you about it too you know uh, if your husband's friends or family members see you like that they may start having ideas in their head oh oh that must be richard the gym instructor you know since when my husband went to the uk just to keep myself busy i registered at a local gym and that's my gym instructor and you know recently i found out that he's a very nice guy so we have become very close uh -huh. so don't let people don't let naysayers be talking rubbish oh. we hang out all the time i even go to his house sometimes you know i fix a meal we eat together i mean it's just a platonic relationship platonic relationship eh do you realize that you are a married woman okay wait let me ask you question number one what is the relationship or marital status of this your so-called newfound friend then question number two is he a born again christian please don't come and bring all these old school vibes ah, you're a young girl why are you talking like an old archaic woman well let me answer your question he is not married okay he is not married number two question that you asked he is not a born again christian but as christians we are not supposed to discriminate against all believers if we discriminate against them how do we stand a chance at converting them hmm my friend second corinthians eh? chapter 6 read from verse 14 to verse 18 be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion had light with darkness and what concord has christ with belial or what has that believed with an infidel eh jim that you did not join when your husband was around gym instructor that was not your friend when your husband was around eh you say you want to convert an unbeliever an unbeliever that you did not try to convert when your husband was around hey hey i am telling you my own no you better open up on everything that has happened between you and this guy listen there's no big deal here okay i registered at a gym okay and i was working out and he happens to be my gym instructor oh yes he had interest in me and he tried asking me out he wooed me and i told him see i am married because whenever i'm going to the gym i don't go with my wedding ring okay i told him i am married and since i told him that i am married he said can we be friends and i said well okay so we are just friends he knows that i am married eh? he wanted me but the moment i explained to him that i was unavailable he said okay let's be friends why are you talking like a child you're talking as if you are not street wise are you 18 years old a man saw you and the first thing that came to his mind was lost okay then you now told him that you were not available a responsible man will back off he now proceeded to say let us be friends okay because he wants to keep you within reach so that eventually that thing that is looking for he will eventually achieve it that is the strategy that men use they don't give up easily if you tell them you are not available make sure you make yourself unavailable when you say you are not available you are married they say okay make yourself available by being my friend and you foolishly agreed hey be very careful i am telling you 
Eh, because Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 says, There's a way that seemeth right to unto a man, you know the end thereof. A word is enough for the wise soul. Oh, Richard, why are you calling me by 11 p.m.? Don't you think it's too late? I was already sleeping. Your video call woke me up. Oh, sorry, baby. It's because I miss you. You don't take my calls anymore. You don't come to the gym anymore. I mean, you don't chat me anymore. I mean, I miss you. What's going on? See, 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 come off it. Come off it. This is getting out of hand, okay? I spoke with a very good friend of mine and she, she put me back to factory settings. This is getting out of hand. We're becoming too close. Remember, I am a married woman. Eh? And because I have been associating with you, I stopped communicating with my husband as often as we used to. Please, I'm trying to get my sanity back. Eh? Richard, stay away from me. You know what? Since you told me you were married, be very, very honest. Have I ever spoken about having a relationship with you? We're just friends. Come on, do not subscribe with what the society says. We are just friends on a platonic level. You and I know that. Eh? Since we've been friends, since I'm single, you've been the one cooking for me. You know I don't know how to cook. You've been helping me out. You want me to starve? Okay, do you remember that tomorrow is my birthday? Okay, I'm asking for just one favor. Come over to my house tomorrow and cook for me. Just for my birthday's sake. And as soon as you're done, you can leave. Okay, 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 now I remember. You'll have to promise me. As soon as I finish cooking the meal for you, before your friends start coming over, I'll leave. Promise? Promise. It's a deal. Promise. Okay? Thank you. Why did you drag me into your room? And why did you pull your shirt? There is loud music in your sitting room and that's where all your friends are and that's where the party is. So why did you drag me into your room? Stop it! Stop it! Richard, Richard, stop, 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 Richard, you know I'm a married woman, stop this, don't do this, Richard, Richard, stop, stop, Richard, stop, stop, Richard, Richard, my God will punish you, bastard. When you're done shedding all these crocodile tears, get the hell out of my house, huh? You're claiming holier than thou. Did you not enjoy it? Have you not always wanted it? Of what business has a married woman got to do with a single man like me? Now you came to my house dressed all seductively. So if you want to claim that I forced you, then I can say that you seduced me as well. Get the hell out of my house. Now. Madam, after a series of tests were carried out on you, the results are out. And I'm happy to inform you that you are three weeks pregnant. <laughs> He's Ouch. You. Ouch! Ouch! Um, are you not happy? You should be happy. You're a married woman. Doctor, never mind, never mind. I'll be on my way. I'm okay. I'm happy. Thank you very much.
Angela, there is fire on the mountain. There is fire on the mountain. I made a mistake with Richard. Yes, the, the, the gym instructor. I made a mistake with him just once. Eh? He forced me. Eh? That was three weeks ago. Now, the doctor just confirmed to me now that I'm three weeks pregnant. Eh, wo, eh, wo, eh, wo, eh, wo. You, that your family doctor has told you that your chances at conception are very slim. Now, your slim chance at conception, you did not conceive for your husband. You conceived for a bastard that plays air like a woman. Eh? A Yahoo boy disguising as a gym instructor. What kind of nonsense is this? Have you called the bastard to tell him that you are pregnant for him? I have told him. Oh, the moment I told him, he said I should go and sort it out. Look for a way to sort it out. Oh, that he is a married man. That he has a wife and four children abroad. He started sending me their pictures on WhatsApp. He said I should go and sort it out immediately. And he told me that for my information, that place that he took me to, that he said was his house, is just a rented hotel apartment. <laughs> that is not his personal building and that he has checked out from there. The next thing I knew, he started blocking me on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. He blocked me. And when I tried calling him on mobile, I realized he had blacklisted my number. Oh, so he has his own family abroad too. Just the way you have your own husband abroad. And both of you decided to collaborate and be irresponsible here in Nigeria. Okay, wait. Now, what is the way forward now for you? Come on, Angela. What are friends for? That is why I came here for your advice now. Advise me. Eh, 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 eh. Don't go there. Don't even try to make it seem as if you value my advice. I gave you an advice from the beginning. I warned you. Oh, my advice was useless then. Now that everything has spoiled, you are now looking for my advice. That will be waste of advice. I don't waste my advice. And for your information, there are some things that I forbid. As a Christian and as a traditional woman, eh? I hate anything that has to do with infidelity and adultery. I will go and buy anointing oil and anoint my ears. You did not tell me anything. I did not hear about this matter from the get-go. A man plating air like a woman, eh? Glorified Yahoo boy disguising to be a gym instructor. He has now scammed you. Now he's telling you that he has a family somewhere. I cannot advise you. I cannot. Don't let your husband know that you ever told me about this matter at all, at all, at all. The only thing I will suggest to you is a suggestion. No, it's not an advice because I'm not aware of anything that happened. Uh -huh. See, just go to Victor Isibo uh -huh, and tell him about this matter. Let him put it on his new channel, Moti Victor. Then in the comment section, Everybody, all his viewers can advise you. Any advice that suits you, just take it. Uh -huh. The comment section of Motivictor YouTube channel is where you will get the advice that you will use. Because as for me, Angela, Angie Baby, I am not aware of anything that transpired. In fact, do I even know you? I don't know you. Get up and get out of my house before your taboo and abomination will stain my house. Get out, oh. please go.